Paul, you must be absolutely delighted to grind out three points today. Yeah, I think that's a good analogy. Um, Concord will feel disappointed not to have come away with a win, actually. Um, but we've got a fantastic goalkeeper uh, in goal and he, he earned his pay today. And, you know, that's the end of a hard season for us and a, a very difficult March and April the amount of games. So, uh, yeah, very, very pleased to get the win. Um, and I've got to give the team an enormous amount of credit for keep going and probably we're not at our best. Yeah, what was your opinion on the first side? Didn't quite... Breed didn't get going for us, didn't it? Well, actually, I thought the first 15 20 minutes we were very good. I thought, um, you know, look, we looked nice and bright, we looked uh, decent football, but uh, it was all pretty. Uh, there was no real crosses coming in the box, we weren't really getting in behind them enough, and they sort of played into Conkle's hands a little bit. But no, give them credit, I thought that, you know, for a team that also has played a lot of games, they were very bright, and I was very impressed with them. But the set, second half, you know, we, kept, we started to up the tempo and the pressure, so you must have been very happy to, you know, just. Well, um, just to get the pressure on Concord and get the goal in the end. Yeah, as I said, I think um, you know, for me, they, they could have had a penalty as well. Um, Jason's come in with a couple of good saves, and we weren't working their keeper at that point. But you know, we changed it. We got um, you know, we managed to give Marvin and uh, Jamie Slabber sort of twenty minutes each, and you know, that's good to see them back on the pitch because we miss them, uh, miss them a lot. But you know, I've got to give a lot, a lot of praise to Isaac Philpot, the young boy who's come in today at centre half. Uh, and also Ben King I thought Ben King was um, for me very close to winning man of the match alongside Isaac so it's particularly pleasing um, you know to see that to see two young boys come in keep a clean sheet uh, say a with Jason Taub. Um but you know it's a credit to the club it's a credit to James Bracken as well because I think you know he's, he's brought them through the reserves and they've, they've come in and not looked uh, phased at all uh, what's, what's the team's feeling now coming to Whitehawk? Are you going to rest a few players or just come out with kind of the same teams today? No, I think there's a lot of thought needs to go into the next week, really. There's a lot of tired legs out there, um, and you know we need, to, we need to keep as fresh as we can for Wednesday. There's players that actually need minutes. Um, Dale Binns is getting close, you know, which we're hopeful for uh, for Saturday. And you know, we haven't ruled out uh, Will Spetch or Charlie Clough uh, from having some involvement between now and next Wednesday. So. So a lot of thoughts going to go into what team we pick for the Whitehawk game, um, but you know whatever team we put out, it will be competitive. How important do you think Craven this has been for us to see just to pop up another goal, such an important goal as well? Well, again, you know he's he's uh, a great player for this football club. You know the word legend doesn't come in the modern game uh, too often, but I think Craig's attaining that status. I think that's his 14th or 15th goal this season. He plays. Uh, Everywhere for me, centre midfield, centre forward, wherever uh, I put him, he does it without complaint. So no, he's a you know he's he's an important club man as well uh, for this football club, and he, he leads by example. Obviously, this uh, the, the win today uh, does, um, to seal basically seal second place because of the goal difference with Bromley. How do you feel now if we get to the playoff final? To you must be very happy to have it on our home turf. Well, that was always the plan was to finish second or third, and you know if we were lucky enough to win the semi final, then you do get that home advantage, but. You know, there's only one game um, you can concentrate on, and that will be the first game on the Wednesday night, and then you concentrate on the next one on the Saturday. So it's just the, you know the what ifs, and, and if we were, as I said, lucky enough to get through to the final, um, then we know it's going to be at Grand and Green Lane. But there's an enormous amount of work to do prior to that, and we're you know we're very focused on that. As I said, it's, it looks like it's going to be Haven. Um, I said when they were here a few weeks ago, they're one of the best teams that we played, and I think it's going to be a, a a close, close game. It's going to be a close one to call. Now the home uh, league campaign has uh, ended here, what's been your favourite moment this season here at Gangrene Lane? Uh, there's been a few really. Um, I enjoyed the FA Cup win over Hemel because that got us into the first round. Um, some special moments, some special goals, but you know, into the, for the club to finish second in the Conference South, um, you know, it's been a it's been a good a good all round season. So lots of lots of good moments. Hopefully, we'll have a special one coming in uh, in a few weeks' time.